Jungle Mungo, what is your first memory of drumming? Listening to the first drum that we all have heard, the heart of our mothers, when I was in the womb. When I was five years old, my first toy was a drum. And from 14 till 22, I wanted to become a professional jazz drummer. In my late 20s, I became an obstinate traveler. And since I could not carry a drum set with me, I got interested in the intricacies, vocal and rhythmical, of this great Indian drum, which is called the tapa. Then, because I am Spanish and we can see from Spain, Africa, I got uh, interested in this Arabian drum, which is called the Tarbuka. Later in the, the Jimbe, a bit more south of Africa, and the Gadam from South India, the Taiko stick drumming, which I learned in Japan, and this great invention by Felix and Sabina, two alchemists of sound, which is called the Han. What was the main inspiration behind making this documentary? This documentary has been inspired by the words of one of my heroes, Nelson Mandela, who said, my dream is a world without races. During all these long travels from Indonesia to Africa, not once the ethnic groups have received us with hostility. Always with open heart and pure love. Jungle Mungo, I know that you have worked with some of the world's most famous musicians. What have been the highlights? To record with uh, Pandita Ripresa Chaurasia, five Cs, uh, this has been uh, the most powerful musical accomplishment of my life that has opened me many doors afterward. Like, for example, a recording with Tata Wini, the Cuban conga player, who was the teacher of the dramas of Santana, Changuito, another Cuban musician, two Grammys, and uh, an amazing soprano, Saxo, Germán Velasco, which is now they consider probably one of the really high in that speciality. That's quite an achievement. How does that make you feel? Well, to be honest, even now I start having goosebumps because, I mean, to be near those masters is certainly not uh, uh, at my level, their knowledge of music. Uh, the only thing I can say is that I thank them very much for having trust my ideas and uh, bring uh, a quality of music in these uh, documentaries which is are the level of their names. Jungle Mungo, you speak 12 languages. Yes, I do. And what was the main motivation to learn 12 languages? Marco, let me make an observation before I answer to your question. 12 languages, it seems a lot, but it's not so much because many of these languages are related. And my knowledge is at the communication level. Uh, the reason why I got interested in learning uh, languages is because the world is a great theater. And when we are born, we get a ticket. And when we die, the curtain comes down and the show is over. I felt if I understand what the actors are saying, I will enjoy much better this great theatre of the world. Shakespeare said, we are all on the stage. The knowledge of these languages have been of great help in communicate with the ethnic groups from Indonesia all the way to Africa. Can you tell us about the domes that you've had constructed at your home? The idea behind was inspired by the fact that one man photographed sound waves and find out that they were round. So I thought if I conceive a shape which is in harmony with the sound waves, the sound will be much, much finer. So fine 
that you can hear a mosquito five meters away. Finally, I would like to ask you about Shakana Moon, the director of photography for these documentaries. He's the best photographer I personally know, and um, he has the mind and the heart to understand why I conceive these films. He has an impeccable honesty and a great quality, which is always on time. The only thing I can say, thank you Shakana Moon for trusting my ideas. Shakana Moon, when did you first start working as a photographer? I started at the age of 15. I was inspired by my father, who is an abstract painter. And my elder brother, who is an accomplished photographer. And I never stopped since then. What are some of the most important things you've learned while filming documentaries? To develop a deep love for uh, minority ethnic groups. I also learned to challenge myself and to reach my goals. Uh, and I also learned that if you have a dream, you go get it. Can you tell us about some of the more challenging situations you've experienced while filming? Uh, the most exciting moments and the most rewarding were when I was challenged physically and psychologically. Another challenge was to film uh, two situations at the same time. Since we had only one camera, I had to be able to pick up Django performing and at the same time the emotion of the public. Well, how long have you been filming the adventures of Django Mungo? Uh, well, we started with one episode, but since it was so exciting and interesting, we kept going on and we couldn't stop anymore. And we've been uh, filming for almost 10 years by now. Shakana Moon. And can you tell us a little bit about Django Mungo? I have not met anybody who has achieved so, so much as drummer, artist, painter, writer, linguist, adventurer, on a professional level as him. And how did you find the response of the African people? The most welcoming, warm and friendly people I ever met. And tuned to the beat. They can take off into the dance at any moment.